that time of year again. Yeah, it is. <sighs> okay, guys, it is that time of year. Move-in season. Yay! Today's the 28th, August 28th. I move in September 1st. But here's the thing, move in implies a move out. So I have to move out as well. Um, And that's a whole situation. I've already moved most of my stuff out. As most of you know, I did not spend summer in my apartment, but there is like a lot that still needs to be done in order to get back my security deposit. And then, you know, the big moving out furniture and stuff like that. So yeah, we're going. So one of the big things I'm going to do in a couple couple minutes uh, when I go back to my apartment is remove all the command hooks and my LED lights. Um, just like making the walls go back to normal. But the one thing that I have learned over the past year is that you're actually supposed to use a hair dryer to remove like the command hook things. I know that I have one packed in one of the boxes, but I don't really want to open them right now. This is literally the worst packed box I've ever seen in my life. Please. Oh no. I found it. Okay, lots of change of plans. I don't know how this happened. It is 5.05. I wrote myself into going to dinner at 5.30 and I have to go to Cambridge, which is not where I am right now. I'm gonna have dinner and then, if you see me on the street, no, I'm not a rogue hairdresser. I'm just removing uh, removing the command hooks off my wall. I don't like how this is going. Folks, this is it. Final, final outfit. Let's go. Surprise! It's the next morning. Now you might be like, why are you wearing the same shirt? It's because I actually never made it to my apartment last night. <laughs> I came here to get dinner and I never made it to my apartment and I'm still here. Like low-key kind of annoying because I really wanted to get that stuff done. I'll check back in with you when there's actual moving stuff. We're about to go move all my shit out of my apartment. This is gonna be horrible. Anyways, who's my mom pulls up from Costco. We're gonna hit the road. Yo. Mmm, it's so good. We're on our way. much stuff in here we've got table and chairs and a cupboard unit thing we still have a desk and the bed frame and this pantry shelf to bring back after that i think we're done anyway guys look how much stuff i put in here feeling um like a girl boss yes but at the same time uh and I haven't even taken out my mattress yet because I don't want it to get dirty. So, okay, anyway. I'm getting tired.
empty. Oh my god, okay, I just literally ran to like the office of the management real estate company that I'm like renting this apartment through because I was so fucking done with them. They had not been responding to my emails. I tried to call them, their voicemail inbox was always full. You couldn't even leave a message. So I'm supposed to move in tomorrow and they kept saying like, we'll schedule a time for you to come pick up the keys. And I'm like, okay, it's the 31st. We're moving in tomorrow. They haven't told us yet and when I sent a follow-up email no one responded so I literally had to go in person to their office I honestly should have yelled more so I walked in and they were like huh and I was like why is me coming in person to this office the only way for me to contact you like this is so stupid that was like probably the most I've ever yelled at like I don't know like a service before I don't know if I'm just like overreacting I'm not really like used to like the whole moving process here but I feel like this is outrageous I feel like the situation deserved to have some yelling involved it just seemed like like I'm already so stressed but just because like moving is stressful you know it's like fucking annoying and like they're not helping they're actively making the situation like a million times worse like your whole job is to write emails and email people and be the facilitator between the two parties but anyway they didn't even have my keys I guess it makes sense because as a tenant myself I did just drop off the keys but now I'm gonna go home pack up all my shit I'm just gonna try to be as prepared as possible regardless of the key situation in the real estate management company and all that I feel like really adult I feel independent I feel like a girl boss okay I'm gonna go now it's really sweaty in this car It's 8 a.m. and we're about to hit the road. Okay, let's go. Okay guys, so we're here. We're here and I have to call the landlord now. Please. Please. Please leave your message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks. Okay, let's go. We're just gonna break in. Uh, we're not. You know what? It, it is locked. Hey, this is gone. Yo, we broke it. Let's go. It's a, on the fourth floor, which I did not expect because the unit, I'm not gonna give away the number, but it has a one in the front, okay? So naturally, what do you think? First floor, right? No, we're on the fourth floor. Second thing is, we like broke in, but we don't have a consistent method of getting in and the landlord won't pick up. So I left him a message. We can start doing something, I guess. Y'all, oh God, <laughs> please, what is this? <laughs> So we just emptied my car and the other van that we drove. Loki, there's already so much stuff, but we still Don't have yet move. to get all the furniture. <laughs> so now we're driving to my cousin's friend's house, which is where it's stored. Initial thoughts, first of all, it's on the fourth floor. Second of all, it is dumpy. It's not the best and it's dirty. No one cleaned it. Third, I got the worst room via coin toss, which I knew would happen. It's okay. Try to have a good attitude about it. The room itself is pretty big, so it's fine. But anyway, we're gonna go now. Yeah. 
time. I think there's everything except for the table, but... I'm trying to stay optimistic. Honestly, my first impression of the apartment was like, wow, this is gross and tiny. But my room is definitely a lot bigger than it was last year but honestly like i don't know i feel like it's okay like we'll deal with it especially this year we're not going to be spending as much time in the apartment i'm much happier with this apartment the windows actually open that was a thing in my last year's apartment the windows didn't open this space is a lot bigger and since i got the shitty room i have to pay less which is great so um yeah that's where we're at i asked claire to get me a cider donut so i hope she does ma'am <laughs> mm. If we're getting a cleaning lady, shouldn't we not move in everything? We're done! It's literally only... We're done. Anyway, we're gonna go get lunch now, but I think that's it. Right now we're waiting in traffic. This is just Boston on September 1st. 99% of the cars on the road are U-Hauls. See y'all next time.